welcome to my channel. I feel like it's been a really long time since I filmed a video. Um, it's been over a week, but I feel like it's been forever. But for past few days, I have been wanting to film a video. I just couldn't decide what to film. But today's video is going to be a review video on a brand new product from ColourPop. It's their Sculpting Sticks. Uh, me and my sister were talking about it and we were about to order some liquid lipstick from there because I never tried any ColourPop products before so I really wanted to try some of their ultra matte lipsticks. I was super excited about it. So I went to their website to see what colors I wanted because my sister was ordering for both of us. So that's when I figured out they came out with these sculpting sticks and I was really excited um, I really wanted to give it a try right away so I ordered one of the sticks from there they have like a variety of color on their website for different skin tones I kind of eyeballed the color that I thought would suit my skin tone the color I got it is yikes and the best part is these are really affordable I believe this is five dollars only the color yikes suits really good on my skin so if you have my kind of skin tone then this would be a good color for you so today I'm going to demonstrate and kind of review like full-on review on this product so some of the basic thing to start off is this is a sculpting stick and this is used for contouring your face I think they also have some highlighting shades I'm not 100% sharp it's just more like a stick kind of like a crayon kind and this is how the packaging look like it's really cute and they have the color on the bottom so you can see the color and it also say the name on the bottom it's a sticker it says yikes for mine and it's a retractable pencil this is how much product you get in the stick it's a pretty good amount of product color to me on the screen is coming out a little bit lighter than what it is the crayon is not super thick or not super thin either so this is this is gonna give you a really precise line contouring line to contour your nose and your face the texture of it is really smooth and it blends really nicely but let me show Show you a hand swatch real quick so here you can see on my hand how it looks against my skin the pigmentation is really good I have my full face makeup on right now my lips are done everything is done beside contouring and that's what I'm going to show you today so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can you guys can see a little bit closer maybe I can try one side with the brush and one side with my fingers and see how that goes and I feel like that will give you guys a better idea about how these blends so let's get started I'm starting with my right side first so what I do is draw the line where I want my contour to be I'm just lightly drawing a straight line I don't want to walk, put too much product Okay, so for my right side, I'm going to be using this um, small face brush to blend it out. I like the way it's looking right now. It looks really nice. It blended pretty nicely. So for my left side, I'm going to try to blend it um, with my finger. What I like to do is kind of like blend it upward so I have a nice line on the bottom. So you can see you can blend it with your finger as well but I feel like on top of my makeup it looks nicer with the brush. So I'm just gonna try to like kind of redo it with the brush because I feel like it was kind of pulling and tugging on my foundation as well when I try to do that with my finger and plus it might be because I waited to finish my whole face so that might have dried it out a little bit which made it a little bit difficult to blend with the finger that smoothly it does seem like these are kind of drying out already I probably should have um, gone like one thing at a time like finish contouring my cheeks first and then move to my nose but I feel like it kind of, the texture kind of dried out a little bit so you have to work really fast I guess so right now I'm kind of using a combination of my finger and brush I also set my face with a powder already so it's kind of using a cream product on top of powder I probably should have done a different way but you know what 
Even when on top of the powder, it's blending pretty nicely and it's not looking patchy or anything, which I really like. And um, so far, I really like it and I did find it a little bit difficult to blend just because I did my whole face, so I feel like it dried out a little bit. Regardless, it blended pretty nicely. I don't know how it's gonna work with a beauty blender. Um, maybe you can try using beauty blender as well. That would actually work pretty good. But I like using this brush because it's uh, small and precise, so it doesn't make your whole face like cakey or muddy looking. So, which I like about this small brush, so it keeps it, your contouring kind of in place and doesn't move around too much. So yeah, that's it. This is the final look with um, after blending. So far, I really like how it blended. I like the color, I like the texture, and I like the fact it doesn't have patchiness. Even though I set my face already, regardless, it didn't apply patchy on my skin, which is a really big plus for me. I didn't have my beauty blender, so I couldn't try that, but I like how it blends with the brush. With your finger, I feel like if I didn't have the powder on, it probably would have gone way smoother, but because because I had the powder wand, it was kind of dragging on my foundation. It was kind of making a patchy when I tried to blend it. And plus on top of that, I took a little bit more time to kind of apply it all over my face and that kind of dried it out a little bit. So yeah, overall, I really like this product. I think I'm going to order a few more shades to see which, if there's any other color that would work even better for my skin because this was just one color to try. I'm going to see if they have like highlighting shades. So maybe I will give those a try as well. So some of the pros, of this product is it's really affordable I think it's like only five dollars so it's really affordable I like the creamy texture of it it blends really nicely but on top of my powder product and because I took a little bit of time between applying and blending it was a little bit harder for me to blend but I know I applied it before and it was blending really nicely and smoothly I like the size of the crayon so I could precisely draw a line it was not too thick or too thin so I could really apply it right to the point where I wanted it to be so I, I like that it's a retractable pencil so which is a really nice thing it's like way easier than sharpening a pencil or anything and I like this better than my powder contouring because I feel like this is more precise easier to blend it just makes things uh, contouring more simple especially around your nose um some of the cons I would say which is not super big of a deal to get the best result you have to kind of work in sections so that it doesn't dry out. I do recommend applying on your foundation directly or just keep it to your cream products. Don't do what I did, like apply a powder first and then use this. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed filming this video because I really enjoyed this product. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried this or not. What are your thoughts about this product? Tell me if you guys tried any other colors from this line because you know sometimes some product varies from color to color the formulation but if that's the case for these products are not so let me know what are your thoughts and your opinions I would love to know that but yeah I'm on snapchat right now finally so you can follow me on snapchat and I will leave all the information about my snapchat all my social media anything about this video I will leave all those in the in the description box below so make sure to check that out and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching this video and tuning into my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!